going? How the hell should I know? Well, honey, you say, Mom, what would you like to eat for your birthday dinner? Yes, but the places that I suggest always seem to have the wrong people, or the food's too fattening, and God forbid she should gain an ounce, not be able to turn on the coffee barista downstairs, because he's only 28, don't you know? Might lose her reputation as the oldest living town hussy! And we can't have that, now can we? Frida, what would you like to eat? Oh, anything is fine, as long as we're together. That was so hard. Oh. Come here, come here. I know how to relax you. Underneath your sundress? The one you insist on wearing to bingo? It's on the right! Not the charm now? No. But soon. Where's Kara? We have to go upstairs. My mom's probably freaking out already. Uh, I think Zoe almost there. <laughs> oh, wow. Wait. Stuff, I can't. Come on, it'll show Mama guy who can follow through. Okay. We're stopping. We're stopping. Fuck. Okay, okay, all right, you're right. Did you move the iron? Christ, mother! Oh, don't be so alarmed. Not everyone is ashamed of their body, sweetheart. Italians sound good, Frida. Oh, I love those garlic rolls they serve with all the melted butter dripping all over. Oh, whoa, whoa. I knew better. Yep. I'm sorry. Hello, hello, we're oh, here. There's my beautiful girl. Mm -hmm. Why the perfume cloud, dude? Let it go. Mom, Dad, this is Stefan. Oh, is this the one? Is this him? <laughs> she was just getting dressed. Oh, it's nothing as hasn't seen before, I'm sure. <gasps> Happy birthday. You don't look 76. Oh, he's a charmer. <laughs> you know, some people say I have the body of a 60-year-old. Oh, he's a keeper. <laughs> I'll be out in 10 seconds. And that's how we roll here. <laughs> I'm Charlie. <laughs> Take two, Millie. Oh, God. <laughs> no worries. My whole family are nudists, so if anything, she's overdressed. <laughs> he's, he's kidding. <laughs> no, actually, I'm not. Oh. Huh. Millie? Yes? Help me find my keys in the other room. my keys in the car. <laughs> so there we were, completely drenched, and just laughed about 4 a.m. And then you didn't call me for three weeks, oh. and I thought, the heck with you. I was playing hard to get. Oh. And six months later, we were married. Wow, what a great story. Like mother, like daughter, huh? Yeah, right, hardly. <laughs> well, speaking of first dates, I happen to have the funniest first date in the whole world. Mother, we're having a nice dinner. You told your story, now it's my turn. 
It was with my Aunt Lena. Oh, good. <laughs> An Aunt Lena story. Thank you, Clara. She was a very forward-thinking lady. God, an Aunt Lena story. So, we went visiting Aunt Lena one summer on Long Island. She had just graduated from college. First one in the family to do it. Anyway, every week she would take me and my cousins down to the beach where they had rides and ice cream. And she would disappear for hours every time. So one time I followed her and hid behind the lifeguard tower. When was this? Oh, 48, 49. I had a curious nature. So I walked way to the other side of the beach. And when I looked over there, she was with two strapping guys and they were kissing her. They looked like movie stars. You look like one of them, Stefan. <laughs> Where was Grandma during all of this? Working, always working, you know. She was a cook at one of the hotels, great cook. Anyway, they drop their swimming trunks and she flips off her top. I, I couldn't believe my eyes. Excuse me, can you start no, clearing some? No, no, I want to hear this. No, no. Yes, I want to hear Don't this. Do I this. Want to stay. Please, 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 please let me listen to what she said. Go on. Well, all I can tell you is that I was scared to death and one of the guys caught me spying. But instead of looking mad, he was happy and he waved at me. And I went over it. Mother, I don't think you should continue with this story. No, it's funny. Can I have the floor, please? So, her fella, he put his arm around me and told me how pretty I was and that I ought to be in pictures. And then he hugged me, and he hugged me so tight. Tightest hug I've ever had in my life. And I could just feel his muscles and everything. And so while we were having a little small talk, his hand started creeping up my leg. He said it was a jellyfish. <laughs> and the next thing I knew, his fingers kind of slipped into my bathing suit down there, and I was squirming it out, and he said his fingers were stuck. <laughs> hey, Frida. That is a nice story. Oh, I think we oh. should get some more wine. Uh, would you like some more wine? Should we get some more wine? I tried to be a big girl about it. I got nervous, and, you know. And Lena said they liked me, and I should just think of it as a double date. And the next thing I knew, her friend came, and he got stuck on us, too. And then Aunt Lena got stuck on us, and we must have looked like a couple of double-decker cookies rolling around on the beach from here to eternity times two. <laughs> that was so silly. <laughs> And she says stuck. Oh, it was a long time ago. They were just having fun. And I felt kind of special being with the grown-ups every week. Every week? Mom, you were 12 in 1948. Well, don't be like that. I mean, what is wrong with you? You are always so sexually cut off. Good thing you're not, Kara. Good for Stefan. Grandma, please, stop. I'm sorry. She's never told us that before. Now, come on, everybody's, everybody's getting so serious. You know, it was funnier in my head. I'm sorry I told it now. I'm not. I'm glad you told us. I'm really glad. Hey, it's your birthday. Let's have some cake. Yeah.
<laughs> What's a cake? Yeah. yeah. Oh, and wait till you see this cake. Oh. <laughs> Happy birthday to me. Happy birthday, Happy birthday to you. To Frida. <laughs>